Hello, welcome aboard Polly. Hi, welcome aboard Polly. We'd like to give you a tour of our family home under sail. Okay, this is how we live. Our floating home poly is a trimaran, which means it has three hulls. It's 24 meters high, which is just about the same as an eight floor building. It is 15 meters long and almost 12 meters wide. The living space is comparable to three bedroom apartment. First, I'd like to show you the main space, the kitchen. So this is the most important thing because in this pla place we spend really a lot of time. As you can see, this is quite a big space for us. We got uh, many, many things here that we can cook almost everything. We got a fridge and freezer here, a lot of space for our kitchen things, tools, blender, mixers for cocktails, my favorite. And on the other side, we got a uh, Dishwasher. Over here, right there. And it's actually just finished. Yeah, clean wash. The wash. Thank you very much. The uh, electricity, courtesy of sunshine. And water, actually, courtesy of sunshine, too, thanks to the water maker. So, green again. <laughs> but it's a very smart thing along our lines of living green. Uh, the dishwasher only takes about uh, 13 liters of water per wash. Uh, so we could never wash this amount of dishes in uh, that kind of amount of, of water. Although we have another mode that we need to save a little uh, bit more, more Yes, this more is the way water. I wanted to then, ask you. Yeah, then we, then we actually, then we actually uh, clean the dishes on the, on, the, uh, on the stern over there mm -hmm. on the transom, uh, which is yeah. the very back end of the boat. My favorite! And, uh, you can and always get... feed sharks and fish. Exactly, because when we, <laughs> whenever we wash dishes over there, it's mad, it's frenzy. There's so many fish. There's usually, you know, the small ones come in first and then the big ones come in. Sometimes we fish something out thanks to the washing dishes over there. So it's really good. So yeah, we do wash dishes quite a bit by hand in the back uh, with just salt water. And in fact, uh, you know, when if we're in places like this where it's really, really clean, we don't even rinse it with uh, fresh water. Garbage can. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of a, I've seen this idea on other boats and I really liked it. So when we had this made the uh, countertop, I asked the guy to make the hole and it's really, really handy. Uh, every time you throw something into the garbage, you don't have to actually open the cabinet. You can just uh, do this or if it's something really small, you just put it through the hole and that's it. Thank you very much. Um, the regular house stove and uh, and burners and uh, this is not a uh, yacht version of it so i made this uh, top over here because it's made out of uh, stainless steel especially made for boats um, and this one was not so we had to uh, actually i had to paint it with varnish to uh, to keep it from rusting there's the big electrical panel that basically drives almost the entire boat, all the electrical things that happen on the boat. The boat is symmetrical, so this cabin is the same as the other cabin, it's just a mirror image. And you can see we have quite large uh, bed, which is not usually uh, the case for sailboats. But we're very lucky because our boat is very wide and it can actually fit quite a comfortable bed. Koshi bells. Koshi bells, yes. So it's very homey, very nice, and very, very, very spacious and comfortable. We're actually extremely happy with this. And we got a really good, nice uh, ventilation. And view. And view. Bed, mirror, two big windows. It's like it's a lot of space. So this is not very typical for sailing boat. So that's that's why I love this boat so much because it's like a normal room in the normal house. Yes, yeah, the, the bed is also yeah. a storage place. We have very nice um, 
uh, big drawers here. And we also have space underneath the bed where we can either lift the mattress or we have a little access over here. So all bed is like a sto big storage yeah, place. It's, the whole boat is like that. So every space is, is very much um, something used. The way you design boats is to, is to maximize the utility of the space. On the other side, there's a kingdom of our kids. This is a kingdom of Julian and Cuba. So at the moment, it's not a big mess here because normally it's like messy here. All the toys are everywhere. They cannot complain because they got many, many toys. A lot of nice toys, books. This is the mattress where they sleep. Most often, I we sleep with them here because when we have some guests on board, we normally sleep here. We got two bathrooms. Uh, this one on the right side. It's very funny. Never breaking one, so that's why we love it very much because there's a just open it and there's a hole and you can pee direct to the water. Hi, <laughs> and feed some fish <laughs> as well. <laughs> We normally don't take shower here, but if you would like to take shower, you just take this one and just, you know. And there's a hole here in the wall, little one. So all water just come here straight to the sea. The left bathroom, if you see, if we have an uh, electric toilet that goes into this big tank in the, on the bottom that can be sucked out, but it gets uh, mixed into uh, salt with salt water and, and then we can let it out if we're in the area where it's uh, allowed to do it. If we ever actually do use a uh, shower, which we normally just use the stern, uh, the back end of the boat, this is, serves as a regular faucet, but you can also turn it around and use it as a, as a shower. So another space weight saving solution, which we really like. We got some mask on the boat and this is the biggest one here. So this is the mask that Zaka creates. Our favorite local artist from South Russia, our dearest friend. Yeah, this is uh, our salon. It was a bar and we even called it uh, polyamnesia because if you just uh, <laughs> lay down here, everybody forget about you. So if you are really tired and you don't want to share many duties on board, you can always hide here. So this is the place where we keep uh, normally vegetables, fruits, where we cross the Atlantic or Keyboard. we have keep, but Fans. at the moment, yes, we put a lot of instruments, music instruments, their first aid things. And underneath there is one place where rum and beers are hidden. And this is the place and there's some books for kids here. It's now it's almost empty, but normally we keep a lot of things here. Book space, navigation and our tools like computers, GoPros, drone place. There's a lot of place here. You can hide many things. Just look at it. This is a little office. We have a little printer with a... Our guitar. Our guitar, yes. The drum set. Mm, that's a little uh, this, this, There's another cabin here. It's got space for two people. We call it uh, Polynesia. Because the boat is poly and we decided to call every bedroom like with poly something. So it's like a polyamory, Polynesia, polyamnesia, and on the others, in the holes, you got Cosmopoly. Yeah. This cabin is maybe not so wide and not so comfortable, but uh, it's very airy, it's windy. When it's wide open, it's very fresh here. Let's There's go. a window here. I'm going to show you the view from this. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, this is the. Okay, and we are exactly here. Yeah. We got a very huge fridge and it's right underneath the stairs. Okay, if you want to get to this thing, <laughs> to lift it, lock it, it's dirty. So this is the fridge and it's very huge. You can set it as a freezer or a fridge. So it's very comfortable when you got a lot of people or you're planning crossing or long trips. 
and this is the place where fresh water pumps are. This is the engine room, but uh, I'm gonna let Bartek. Bartek, you're gonna tell about this this kingdom. Engine room right here. And I'll show you just a quick version of that tour, and then maybe someday I will make a nice tour for the guys. We have basically a uh, laundry here, regular uh, washer. This is also this is, this is also, this yes, is this is also one effective. Year old washing machine. Well, this is our big inverter, that's the heart of all the electricity on the, on the boat. Those are our, this is our pride, our uh, voltage regulators for our solar panels, which are now actually spinning high speed, cooling in ourselves because they're charging uh, full blast from the, from the sun. Our batteries right here, uh, they're just regular golf cart batteries, nothing special. But they're very dependable, very good, and we like them a lot. And the be behind you'll see a lot of masks because I'm uh, digging up the generator right now. So I'm not going to go into details, but we have a, the salinator engine and the generator uh, and the inverter for 110 volts. And that's about it for, for a very quick tour. Oh, uh, one more thing. We have a very nice uh, uh, mineralization plant over here because we make our own water and the water from the water maker would be, in the, in the long run, would be quite uh, unhealthy because it doesn't have minerals. So this uh, plant that I just showed you cleans it uh, even more and then adds all the minerals and it's really good water, I tell you. Ever since I started drinking this water, even the bottled water doesn't, doesn't smell or, or taste very good anymore to me. Yeah. This is the, the back end of it. This, this comes out right here and we have a special, uh, as you see, special faucet and this gives you a really nice clean water. We can go on a deck. Uh, on our way, we have uh, our cockpit, our favorite place. You can chill here, lay down while we're sailing. Yeah, this is a nice place. We can easily sit like six, eight people in this table, and then the rest six, eight over here, very comfortably, and even more if when you really have to. So it's been home to quite a big party. It's been good. This is a really cool invention, I love it. Uh, mm -hmm. This was one of the first things I installed on this boat was, uh, was this high pressure salt water pump. So we basically take the water from the ocean, pressurize it, and we can wash the deck. And it works really, really well. Okay. Uh, steering station. This is where we navigate normally, especially when we're going in and out of uh, seaport or into an anchorage where we need to go have, have a good visibility and also have a control of the engine, uh, which is right here. Uh, this is the panel for the engine. That's where we start and stop it. I also monitor the, uh, the temperature of the coolant and the oil pressure and the RPM. And here we have an autopilot, uh, bow thruster. This is our spare VHF that we use if we uh, just need to uh, get contact quickly from here. Also from here, if you can look this way, you'll see we have two uh, main winches. This one is really gets used the most. It's the electric one. Obviously, that's why it gets used the most. We can easily run the whole boat from, from this point. There is a lift for dinghy here, but there is no dinghy now. Yeah. So now I want to show you our left hull, left cosmopoly. Disadvantage of that uh, place because the entrance is from the deck. <laughs> okay. You're gonna show? Uh, I'm gonna show you. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna dive we'll here. Dive yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. There's a, a bed for two people. Yeah, so when we stay on the anchor, it's very nice here because you got uh, three windows here. One here, one, this is another one, and there's a third one, but on the other side. It's a nice place. I'm gonna show you the view from our window. Yeah, you got here the, some space for personal stuff like books, you know, clothes. Stereo. Like stereo. On the other side is on, is the same bed, but now at the moment we keep there many things, so it's not a big deal over there. So yeah, it's a double bed, but now we got a suitcase and mattresses. 
vacuum cleaner. We don't have any many people now in the world, so we can leave it like that. This is Cosmo Volley. And on the other side, this uh, the same one, only but only with this front bow bed. Okay, so let's go on the bow. Put our spinnaker on the top so we cannot enter that. We got two nets in the bow, anchor winch. Just press it. There are six uh, solar panels on the boat, on the roof. And so thanks to that, we are self sufficient with all energy we needed. The lines over there. Fenders and lines, it's fully packed. Okay. I think this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Os segredos vem da floresta de luz, bate a mamá, bate a mamá, abre a consciência. Deixe os filhos a crescer